Okay, this is a website hosted on the 48 and 48 platform. We want to go to the WordPress backend. We scroll down to the left, go under Tools, and Zipper. If you're on the platform and you don't see Zipper, it's because the plugin has been disabled. But otherwise, it's just a plugin. We turn it on, and it'll be open here. So, just going to close that. So all we do, we go to Zipper, we hit Start New Backup. T takes a minute to look at the website, pulls up some files. Okay, that's going to be a big file. Uh, but what we do, we just hit Start, include all files, include database. Uh, we let it do its processing. It'll take a few minutes to create the backup. Okay, once the backup is created, you get bounced over to this page, and then we can download the file. Okay, I have the file downloaded. This is what the backup file contents looks like. We have our regular WordPress files. There is not a configuration file. Uh, we have a sample that comes with it, if that's helpful. Uh, but a new one will be generated automatically as soon as we set up the website. The database is by itself. Just a regular SQL dump file. So I'm going to walk through how we would just set this up um, using a local server. The first thing I have set up here is to route the actual domain back to my local server here. Um, if the domain changes, we have to do a search and replace on the database to change the old domain to the new domain because Beaver Builder stores references to media files with the uh, public URL. So if this change, we'll have a bunch of missing files. So let's copy our files to our folder. So this is basically our uploading process, uploading the files to the server. Files are there. Again, no configuration file. The database, we install that to our server. Uh, typically you'll run PHP MyAdmin or something. Um, this is just a GUI to interact with my database. So we import our SQL file. And our files are moved over. So the next step, let's go to .org, HTTP files, because I don't have a local. Uh, so I don't have. Uh, well, the authentication keys are missing for the SSL, and so the current thing on record doesn't match what I have locally. What I'm going to do is just come to options table. Just 
remove that. And now we're pulling up the website loaded from our server. So let's hit continue. And again, this is going to generate our WP config file. Install. This will tell us that we've already been installed. We just need to log in now. Okay, now our website is successfully migrated and referencing our actual server. See, we're pulling locally. Okay, so let's see why these images are missing inspect network okay so what's happening here is this is cached beaver builder data so this is really the last step um, there's two approaches to purging the beaver builder cache um, the first option is to physically delete the files. The second option is through the WordPress administration menu. Uh, to do that, we go to Settings, Beaver Builder, Tools, and Clear Cache. It's probably going to be simpler since you're handling the files directly to go to WP Contents, Uploads, BB Plugin, and then this Cache folder. All we want to do is delete this folder or trigger the action here. I'm just going to delete the files. Let's go back to the home page and our cache should be rebuilt. Okay. Um, so the references to the files are correct, but they're still referencing the HTTPS. So this isn't something that we discuss on the call, but we use Let's Encrypt to generate our SSL certificates on the server. Um, you'll need to uh, handle that process however you generate your ticket. Uh, however you generate your SSL certificates. Uh, but the references are correct and the images are there. So because I can't really correct the SSL on my local server, what I'm going to do is rewrite the database HTTPS to HTTP. We can do that with a plugin or if you have WP command line, um, that also works. Let's go to plugins, add new. Search, replace. Activate. Tools, better search, replace. So let me search for HTTPS. Now this is also the same procedure that you need to do if the domain ever has to change from what we have uh, because you'll still have all the references to the media files with the wrong domain. Um, I'm just going to select all tables. Um, I'm pretty confident this is a safe action so I'm just going to go ahead and do it as a live replace but you can preview the changes if you feel like you need to.
Okay, our search and replace is completed. 1300 changes made. Now when we go to the website, we should have all of our assets loading. There's our logo. I forget what's going on here in the background. The issue was that the cache had been regenerated with the HTTPS references, and that's why the hero image was missing. We replace, uh, refresh, and everything is in order. So that is a successful migration. Um, so the issues we did not discuss on the call were the HTTPS. That's probably going to be um, an immediate impediment unless you have uh, valid certificates on the server, which doesn't seem likely until you actually have a chance to set it up. So I will include that note in the email, um, but essentially that's it.